Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and your Friday will not be complete without an anomaly video, but unfortunately it's too late. So we had to give it out on Saturday. Sorry about that, but here we are, back in No Man's Sky. So thank you for joining the channel. Again, I'm Elon Paul, and we're going to go ahead and do the anomaly video and get this taken care of today. So let's go see what the anomaly and the nexus has in store for us today. Ah, looks like we're elim eliminating hazardous flora yet again. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. It looks like I'm going to get 15, uh, well, 1800 Quicksilver and 15 wiring looms out of this. So let's go ahead and get this mission started and get moving along. Now, eliminating hazardous flora depends upon the planet you're going to be landing on. Hopefully this will be a halfway decent planet, but we'll see what happens. Off we go in our new Starborn Runner. Hopefully you all have this ship by now. The expedition is going to be going on for at least three more weeks. About three and a half, I guess, give or take. So make sure you get that expedition done. And if you haven't been watching, there's been a little bit of a battle on the speedrun side of things. Jason and Delta... Jason Plays and Delta One have been going at it. They're down below an hour. So, very interesting. I'm trying to catch up, but I'm pretty sure I'm never going to catch up to these guys. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and get over to this planet here. It says floral hazards detected all the way over in this planet here. So we'll check that out. So your weapon of choice, of course, in order to get them. I usually prefer to use a mining beam because it's easier. Uh, the best one to use is the runic laser that you have on the uh, Atlantid multi-tools or on the Sentinel multi-tools. Although the Sentinel multi-tools I don't think has the runic one. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. I always get that a little bit confused. But multi-tool I'll be using today is going to be the Atlas Scepter and happens to have the mining laser here and the runic lens. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. We'll go ahead and land on the planet here and get that moving along. Looks like it's a wonderful planet here. Very nice and picturesque as you can see. If you like to cut through the fog anyway. Now, you do have to land near here, but look, what we're looking for, if you could even see it in this fog, is you're looking for an, un, an unmarked grave. It'll usually be somewhere close to here, so just circle around a little bit and see if you can find it. Now, when I say close, that's relatively speaking. Relatively being whatever Hello Games decided to make it in regards to that. Ah, there it is, as you'd see. And the storm happens to be clearing. That's good news for me. All right. Winds from beyond. All right. So let's take a close look over here. It looks like it is... Should be right in front of me. Ah, there it is. Okay, I just couldn't see it. Whoops. I skipped past him. Paul Travis's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. Indeed, we will. Now, lo and behold, I happen to have a cave right near here. Now, I could look around this landscape, and I could find probably some stuff on top of the landscape. But considering the wonderful, wonderful uh, view that we have around here of um, the wonderful storms that we have, it would be better off going to a cave and looking for these little green nodules right here. And taking them out. So that's two gone. Just take a look around. They're usually quite present in these little uh, cave areas. I always like to look for them here too, to be honest. And this runic laser takes them out really quick. This is not a very deep cave. So it looks like I'm only going to get a few here. And just to make certain, we're going to take a look and see if there's anything buried. Like, for instance, that the subterranean relic indicates that that's another cave right there. So let's go ahead and head out of here and we'll head over that direction and see what that cave has to hold. It's probably another section of this one that we're in right now. Sure enough. But we can't get in. So let's go ahead and make a door. Or made. Okay, so we're up to six already. There's a couple more. We're up to seven. Any more in this general area? Let's just take a look around, make sure. Of course, as you, as you look at them, they'll immediately start pumping out the dust. 
Love those things. All right. Oh, another opening right over here, so that's good. Another exit point. Oh, one right in front of me. Two more, so that's nine. You can get sub subterranean relics if you wish. Whoop, there's one right there. Gone. There's two more gone. We're up to 12. Any more in here that we can see. And again, they will start spouting as soon as you look at them. They can be on the ceilings too, so take a look up as well. Don't stay too close, okay? All right. Nope, doesn't look like there's any more in this general area. So what we're going to do... Oh, there's one there I missed. There's one, and there's one right next to me. Hold on. Okay, so we're up to 14. So if there's more, they're going to be right there, looks like. That's 15. Excellent. So the floral threat has been eliminated. So that is actually the conclusion to the mission. All we need to do now is head back to our ship, get back to the Nexus, inside the Anomaly, in order to claim our prize. Almost made it all the way back. There we go. All right, and we're on our way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of our mission. Let's get into there. There we go. Pull in our Anomaly. And off we go. Now, please feel free to leave comments in the comments section. Please leave your comments kind and proper. If you have questions, feel free to ask. If you just want to say hi, feel free to say hi, and I'll say hi back. And as always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We'd really appreciate that. I do anyway. And the like button actually helps our analytics a little bit. The, the uh, almighty YouTube algorithm that nobody seems to understand. <laughs> there we go. We're back to the Nexus. We're going to complete the mission. We get our prize. In the form of more Quicksilver. And, of course, in this case, I got myself some more uh, of these wiring looms. So that's good. I've got tons and tons of them. But, hey, you know, you can always use some more. And just to see what's going on in the Quicksilver status, there's probably not much in here except the usuals that were in here to begin with. But the expedition that was going on, including the Twitch drops, are in there. So feel free to, to grab them and you can have them as part of your own inventory and they completely move over to other saves so as soon as you get them in one you can have them in all the others so that should do it i'm going to jump in and out of my ship here and call it a day i want to thank you all for watching again please hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video take care everybody